So in this video, I'm going to show you the uh, underhood and drivetrain of TT here. Now, first thing you'll probably notice is that gorgeous motor. Now, that's a piece from Tom Nelson from Nelson Racing Engines. Basically, for you tech heads, it's 427 cubic inch small block, cast iron block and heads, and runs his patented mirror image turbo system. Now, Tom estimates this motor on pump gas at about 1,200 horsepower, uh, which is more than enough to get this thing going down the road. I'm going to go over some cool key points of this motor, and then we're going to go around the engine bay and other things going on. One of the neatest things I like about this motor is his alien intake. Now, everything is housed inside of that. Starting at the back, those two bumps in the back are actually preset fuel pressure regulators from Tom. You'll hook up to send and to return, which I'll explain in a minute. And the wiring is already preset. You hook up your plug to it. The throttle body's inside and the throttle cable passes through it. What's missing is the big inner cooler, which will feed up here. His system is genius because there's 16 fuel injectors in this intake. The first eight operate the motor, which means it's not very twitchy to drive around. You're basically riding around on about a four or 500 horsepower small block with eight normal sized injectors. When you step on the throttle, the computer senses everything and kicks in the secondary eight injectors to provide the fuel needed uh, <laughs> when the turbos kick in. Now, in another video, I'd explained that the stainless steel tank from Rick's in the back had two fuel pumps put in it. This is why pump A feeds the the first eight injectors. Pump B feeds the secondary eight when the turbos kick in. It's actually genius. So that wraps up the motor. It goes into a quick time bell housing with a McLeod twin disc clutch and a T56 Magnum six speed transmission specially prepared by Modern Driveline. They cry road the gears and they polish the gears, which helps with lubrication and helps with the strength and handling the torque and horsepower of this motor. Now for cooling, we have a special radiator with Tom, the bigger the better. Cooling is everything for his twin turbo motors. So this is a whopping, if I remember, 38 inches wide radiator, specially built for us by Ron Davis Radiators, and it has a twin 18 inch fan setup in it. Um, the motor has been pushed back about three inches from its stock location. The core support has been cut up and moved forward, bringing the radiator forward about two, two and a half inches to make room for that big cooler. There's also another cooler that'll sit in front of the Vintage Air AC condenser, which you can probably barely see hiding down here in front. And of course, there'll be um, tubing connecting the turbos to the intercoolers and back up to the intake. Um, what you can also see in here is the widened inner fenders that are from Anvil Auto. Now they're out of carbon fiber and they've solved the problem for you pro touring guys that need wider front tires on your, your uh, second gen Camaro, but the tires would always hit the stock inner fenders. So these have already been widened for you. And if you don't want to drop the money for the carbon fiber, they also make it out of fiberglass. So there's no excuse to uh, not utilize this update that they've created. We've started with the Detroit Speed, uh, a block off panel that we modified to fit how we wanted it here. And that is actually fully functional. You can actually get to all of the mounts on the Vintage Air Gen 4 system that's underneath the dash of this. So we can get all to all the heater hoses and the AC hoses and connections by just removing that panel instead of scratching around on the inside of this expensive interior. So we've smoothed the wall. There's gonna be some other panels and pieces put in. And um, well, that's about it for under the hood. In fact, that's probably plenty. So I'll let the cameraman paint a little more on this beautiful, beautiful motor from Tom Nelson.